third episode in this series is on Cabria by Italian director Giovanni Pastrone. This film is a historical film based on the Punic Wars of the Roman Empire, rather than the fantasy films and actualities that we see elsewhere in early cinema. This film features special effects early on with the erupting volcano, and intricate set designs of the Roman Empire and surrounding areas seem to mirror those of Melie. Extremely complex primary plot features the life of this girl, as she is taken from her family, sold into slavery, and must survive with the help of some of her friends, both new and old. This film features multiple complex subplots focusing on the unique characters that are supporting roles throughout the main story. We see the mythical burning of the Roman fleet by Archimedes and his giant mirror, and eventually the conquest of Carthage. This film received a review in the New York Times, which was extremely rare for films of this era. Globally, critics acclaim this film for its use of special effects, camera angles, and innovative storytelling devices. The film begins with Cabaret and her youth. An idyllic Roman villa is presented, with many servants and her own personal nurse taking care of her, as well as her happy family. The volcano outside the city erupts, sending everyone into a massive panic. The family is seen praying to their house gods, and the volcano seems to subside, giving the viewer hope that everything will be alright. Then it erupts again, and the villa itself begins to crumble. As the parents make their escape, they look for their daughter Cabaria and cannot find her anywhere. It is later revealed that she escaped with the servants and her nurse down into a secret basement. Below they find hordes of gold, and the servants become greedy, pillaging, and then escaping through an exit hatch that brings them onto a beach. As luck would have it, a boat is abandoned there, and they set sail for North Africa. Cabria is brought to be sacrificed to the gods of Carthage. Cabria's nurse attempts to rescue her, and eventually she stumbles upon a Roman soldier and slave in disguise, hidden incognito in the city. They agree to help after the nurse reveals a ring that belonged to Cabria. This scene introduces two of the characters with intricate subplots whose stories all come together at the very end for a mass accumulation of all the events seen before in the story. Cabria is definitely a movie worth watching. While it is a silent movie, it depicts a very detailed world. This video was made possible by Scott Langley, who selected all the titles featured in this series, and narrated by me, Graham Morphus. Cabria can be screened in the Macaulay Cave as disc number 229. Thank you.